In today's video, I'm gonna go over the pros and cons of living in Jonesboro, Arkansas. And you definitely wanna stick around for the last con because it's something that most people wish they had known before moving here to Jonesboro in Northeast Arkansas. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living in Jonesboro and the Northeast Arkansas area, then hit subscribe and also tap the little bell. That way you're notified every time a new video is posted. My name is Derek, a local realtor with eXp Realty. And if you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, uh, send me an email, or you can set up a Zoom meeting with me in the description below. I want to make your move to Northeast Arkansas and Jonesboro as smooth as possible. Okay, so I'm going to start with the pros and then I'll work my way down to the cons. And you definitely want to stick around for that last con because like I said, it's something that a lot of people wish they had known before moving here. And if you live in Northeast Arkansas, you'll be aware of this con and you'll definitely back me up on this in the comments. So the first pro that I'm going to talk about, and these won't be in any particular order, but the first one is the proximity of Jonesboro and Northeast Arkansas to other major cities. So we're pretty close to Memphis, about an hour north of Memphis. Uh, we're pretty close to Little Rock, about two hours from Little Rock. We're pretty close to St. Louis, about four hours. Uh, we're close to New Orleans. We're close to Dallas. So that's that's a that's a pro for living in this area because we can you know you're within a day's drive or I mean even less than a day's drive to get to those major cities uh, and a lot of these pros that I talk about a lot of these are reasons why people are currently moving uh, to Jonesboro so I did a video and you can find it here it's called why the buyers why buyers are moving to Jonesboro Arkansas check that out because a lot of these pros will be on there. So the next pro I'm going to talk about, I'm going to combine two of the ones I have written down uh, from my perspective is one, there's a there's a small town feel to Jonesboro uh, as it grows rapidly every single year, uh, while also there's some really good people here. So I, I think two of the pros are the people and also the small town feel. Now I've been here for 20 years uh, and I know a lot of people, and to some people, it could be a con that everybody knows everybody. But as Jonesboro grows, that everybody knows everybody kind of goes out the window because more and more people are coming here. But as of right now, from my perspective, that's a that's a pro that everybody knows everybody. Uh, everywhere I go, I know someone. Uh, to me, that's a, that's a good thing. Uh, that's why I enjoy living here. Um, and also, there is a small town feel to Jonesboro, even though it continues to grow and grow. Uh, it's one of the fastest growing areas in Arkansas, uh, but we're still keeping that small town feel. And we still have some of the amenities that people want uh, in their smaller towns. Uh, we have Chick-fil-A, we have some Starbucks, multiple Starbucks. So uh, other than shopping, uh, we have everything that uh, all the bigger regional cities have. So another pro of living in Jonesboro is the great schools. And I touched on that in the video I did of why people are moving to Jonesboro, why buyers are moving to Jonesboro, uh, is we have great schools. Every school district in Jonesboro is really, really good. Uh, you can start with the largest, which is the Jonesboro School District. Great high school, great middle schools, uh, and even better elementary schools, some of the best elementary schools in the state. And then you could talk about the Nettleton School District. Uh, has a really good STEAM program. Uh, then the Valley View School District, one of the top school districts in the state. My kids go to Valley View Elementary uh, and Middle School Intermediate, and uh, the teachers have been fantastic. Uh, high test scores at Valley View, which at all schools here in Jonesboro, and also the West Side School District, which is the western uh, side of Jonesboro. Great schools. I actually used to be a teacher and did my student teaching at West Side, and great people out there. Uh, really enjoyed it. So there are no bad school districts in Jonesboro. Those are just the ones that are in the city limits of Jonesboro. Then if you step right outside of the city limits, you have the Brooklyn School District, who most publications or most things you read on the internet is it's one of the fastest growing school districts, not only in the area, but also in the state. And I used to coach basketball at Brooklyn. Uh, great people there, great administration. Elementaries are really strong. I know people who have children that go to all of these schools, and that's one of the biggest pros of living in Jonesboro. Is you can't choose a bad school district. All of them are phenomenal. Okay, so the last pro I'll touch on, just to keep this video semi-short, is the affordable housing. Now, some people that live in Jonesboro will say housing prices are astronomical, rent prices are astronomical. But when you compare it to larger cities in the region, Jonesboro housing is very affordable. Uh, so our average sales price is right around that $200,000 mark. 
Uh, and that'll get you 1,500 to 1,800 square feet, three bedroom, possibly a fourth, two bathroom, uh, in a great school district, obviously, because I've already touched on that. All the school districts are great. Uh, but that's the, the housing situation in Jonesboro right now. What we're still seeing, even though interest rates have risen, we still have a lack of inventory, which is keeping those prices high. But they're still affordable if you start doing comparative shopping from different areas in the region. Uh, rents in Jonesboro have, have risen in the last two years, but you can still find affordable rents. Uh, the problem is there's not enough housing uh, on the buy side and also on the rent side. Uh, so that, it, that, that could be a con. But to me, uh, when you start looking at Little Rock, you start looking at Saline County where Benton and Bryan is comparing it to Jonesboro and also looking at Memphis, which is another, you start looking at those outside parts of Memphis. Jonesboro housing is very affordable. Um, but like I said, if you talk to the people that live in Jonesboro, this may be a con, but I, I'm in it every single day. And people that are moving to Jonesboro uh, from those larger cities or those bigger areas outside of Arkansas, they all say the same thing. Wow, I can't believe I can get this much for my money here in Jonesboro. Okay, so let's jump into the cons of living in Jonesboro, Arkansas. I know all of you stuck around because you want to hear that. Uh, and these are in no particular order either, other than the last one. The last one will be, in my, from my perspective, the number one con of living in this area and why me and my wife, we've kind of talked about leaving this area because of this. So stick around for that. So I'm going to start with one of the cons of living in Jonesboro, Arkansas, Northeast Arkansas, is there's not a lot of planned communities uh, other than you have Sage Meadows, you have Ridge Point, um, there's just not, there's subdivisions, but there's, the subdivisions just don't have a lot of amenities as far as community pools, as far as clubhouses. Uh, you have, you have the Jonesboro Country Club, which has an area around, they have the Country Club, and then you have Sage Meadows, which is a golf course community, has a clubhouse, does have a swimming pool, uh, does have a playground for families, tennis courts. Ridge Point has a clubhouse, they have their golf course community also, but there's just a, not a whole lot of that. Uh, and two, I think, I think as Jonesboro grows, there'll be more and more of those planned out. Uh, whereas if you go to a big city like Dallas, obviously we're not there yet, but they have a lot of different areas, uh, where those communities with amenities are. And I think, I think that's a con for Jonesboro and obviously Northeast Arkansas, uh, as a whole. Okay. So another con of living in Jonesboro, Arkansas, and I think everybody in Jonesboro would back me up on that that lives here is the traffic. The traffic for a town of Jonesboro size is incredibly frustrating. Uh, do not on Saturdays, uh, Friday evenings, it's almost impossible to get where you're going across Jonesboro in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, there's, there's a couple of specific sections of Jonesboro, the hilltop area, which is 351 where Red Wolf Boulevard, 351 Johnson, Red Wolf, whatever you want to call it these days, they they intersect. And in that area, I, I travel it every single day. I live at Sage Meadows and it's it's rough in the, usually right at 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. some time frame there. And also 4, 4.30 to 5.36 when everybody's getting off work, everybody's going home. Uh, those areas are really backed up. Southwest Drive on the other side of town, uh, South Jonesboro going out towards Valley View. It can get rough out there too. A lot of bumper to bumper traffic. And I think the issue is there's, there's so many jobs in Jonesboro. You know, we have a really good economy. So a lot of the smaller, you know, the, the people that live in the smaller towns outside of Jonesboro, they're all coming into Jonesboro. So they all have to leave. So in the afternoon, it gets, it gets rough in certain areas of Jonesboro. So, I'd say one of the biggest cons is the traffic. It's not the biggest con, but it's one of the bigger cons. Uh, and people that come from Dallas, Memphis, St. Louis, uh, those bigger cities, you may come into Jonesboro and go through the traffic and think, man, this, this is easy. But I assure you, the people that live here, we think the traffic is crazy for the size of Jonesboro. Okay, so another con of living in Jonesboro, Arkansas, Northeast Arkansas is tornadoes. We're not necessarily in Tornado Alley, at least according to the map that I looked at on Google, uh, but we get our fair share of tornado warnings and also tornadoes that touch down. In 2020, in March of 2020, we had a large tornado come through 
a big portion of Jonesboro and it did a ton of damage. Luckily, no one was killed. Uh, but Jonesboro has a, you know, it has a propensity to, to, for tornadoes to come through this area. Uh, in December of last year, 2021, we actually had one, uh, that hit one of the, the outer areas of Jonesboro. So if you're afraid of tornadoes, then Northeast Arkansas and Jonesboro is, is, you know, it could be a scary place for you. Now we have one of the best weathermen around meteorologist Ryan Vaughn, giving him a shout out. Uh, and he always, he always does well to jump on, jump on the radio, jump on the news to, uh, warn us when something like that develops. And luckily we haven't had, we, we didn't have any deaths in 2020 In 2021, uh, in some smaller towns surrounding Jonesboro, there were a few deaths from tornadoes, uh, but they do come through here. Uh, we're not in Tornado Alley, but we do get them. Okay, so the next to last con I want to talk about is internet service. So this is imp this has improved lately, but you know for the longest time, Suddenlink was the only thing that you could get, uh, only internet service you could get in this area other than one or two smaller ones that were never reliable, but Suddenlink was the largest one and it was it was trash. I still have it today and I, I think it's trash. So, you know, I could get in trouble for bashing them on here, but Suddenlink, which is now Optimum, if you come to Jonesboro, it's a con if you have to get that internet service. So if you're looking for a house in Jonesboro, you're moving here and you don't understand about the internet service, do not get Suddenlink or do not get Optimum, which it is now. Uh, now AT and T fiber is in most neighborhoods, uh, and also if you if you start looking on the outside of Jonesboro, Craighead County, out in the county, uh, Craighead Electric now has Empower, which is really good fiber internet. So be warned if you move to Jonesboro, Arkansas, you do not want Optimum or Suddenlink. Uh, so make sure you're aware of that. Okay, this is what you've been waiting for, and I'll scoot in so you can hear me. So the, the main con of living in Jonesboro, Arkansas, this absolute main con, it's it's worse than the tornadoes that randomly hit Jonesboro, uh, worse than the internet service. Uh, and I think everybody that lives here would agree with this. The worst, the worst thing about living here is in the summer, the mosquitoes. They are absolutely terrible from... I'd say mid July until about mid September, they are they're really terrible. And what the builders have done to remedy this con is a lot of the builders now are building screened in back porches uh, for the home for the new builds for the new construction that they sell, which is a great idea. So just be warned that the major con of living in this area is the mosquitoes. They will bite you. They will carry you off. There's there's jokes about. Arkansas's national bird is the, or state bird, I'm sorry, the, the Arkansas state bird is the mosquito. Like they will tear you up in this area of Arkansas. So if you hate mosquitoes, this may not be the place for you, but I wanted to give it to you real and raw. And that is a major con of living here. Now, what I found in the last couple of years, they've come out later and later. So last year we went to Florida uh, at the 1st of August. And before that, we could stay outside in the afternoon and we'd be fine at home uh, here in Northeast Arkansas. So we come back from the beach first week of August and then we really start getting attacked by mosquitoes. So just keep that in mind. If you're moving to this area, uh, mosquitoes could be a factor. Now, the good thing is as the, as the temperature drops, obviously they start going away. Uh, but from August to mid-September, uh, maybe to later in September, you'll really get lit up by them. Now, there's been rumors or people talk about that in the Valley View area, mosquitoes are much worse than in the North Jonesboro area, which is Sage Meadows, Terra Hills. I haven't found that to be true. I've, from my perspective, from my experience, I would say mosquitoes are bad all in Northeast Arkansas. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking about making a move. So there you go. There's a few pros and a few cons of living in Jonesboro, Arkansas. In my opinion, the pros far outweigh the cons. Uh, it's a great place to live. And if you're thinking about making a move to Jonesboro, and if you're thinking about making a move within Jonesboro, Northeast Arkansas, give me a call, uh, shoot me a text, send me an email. Uh, if you're making a move from out of state and you want to jump on a Zoom, there's a link below where we can set up a call to, to talk together. Like I said, the, the pros far outweigh the cons. Uh, and if you want more information on anything that I've talked about, like I said, you can reach out to me any way there is. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video.